Welcome back to another Dog Has Been Model Rally Review. Today we'll be looking at the Austrain's 80 class diesel electric. These Lycos retail for $195. So for a price point coming into the hobby, that's a good price to start with. Um, these particular Lycos were built from 1978 to 1983. There were 50 of these this type built. They were uh, had some new new features. They they are an updated double four two. Included factory fitted aircon, which is nice. Definitely for those poor crews on a forty five degree day, you cannot beat the aircon. Uh, fiberglass uh, body panels. So if they had a praying, they could. I guess they can just take take the fiberglass off and put a new one on. Um, these were the last Alcos built anywhere in the world. Well, um, and I think also the elimination of buffer, di buffer diaphragms on, on delivery. You can get these Locos in Indian red. Um, I think Tuscan and Pacific Blue. Or or Freight Rail Blue, so Pacific National Blue, I think it's the exact same thing. Um, these are powered by an Alco 12.251 CE prime mover. These can get along at 130 kilometers per hour, which um, is faster than most speed limits in Australia, um, or 81 miles per hour. In this particular loco, AD19 was cut up by green trains. So you slide the top, top off. This loco is a borrowed locomotive, so some of the parts on he here may differ differ from what from what your actual model will look like. So to get out of the box, you, you flip it there. You, on the good thing about these old on old trains, you have holes in the bottom. The bottom you have to push up loco with. Okay, so wait to what the loco weighs in at what fifteen grams. So it's quite a decent decent weight of loco. Oh, uh, I I believe these about pull most thing, most most things on your layout. Um, so you do have a lot of modelling detail as you find on most of these basic um, Austrians diesels. But again, these are re released I think in the 90s I think or early early 2000s. So for its age, it's an it's a nice moulding. Like you can see see my friends gone got along and painted some bits, so it looks a bit more re realistic. Um, on the model, you will have operational headlights, non-operational marker lights. Um, I'm not sure if this was added by, by him or not, but a KD compatible knuckle coupler, separately applied the handrails. I'm pretty sure that's been after market fitted. Uh, the, the the bogey details all right. It's the bogey swing a bit loose. So that could be a sign of of something odd, odd going on. There's not much underbody un, un, detail. A, a big pumping fuel tank, which I think looks a bit low. If you look look at look, look at Loco, Loco, it looks a bit low. It could catch on a, on a high point. But yeah, all, all my problems with this is that it's just nitty gritty detail. It's a nice Leica. It's just got a lot of modeling detail. Um, you, you have the fan, which my mates um, painted in. You have a walkway. 
um, the exhaust port, which um, if you know these Alcos, Alcos never have a clean roof. They're always covered, covered with oil. But yeah, it's, it's a nice model. Not much more I can, I can say really, it's a nice model for its age. And that's why I can sell them so cheap, is because of, because they've all they paid off the, the tooling. The tooling is the expensive bit. Once they've got the tooling paid off, they can just keep mass producing as many models as they want. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe.